So one of the things we've talked about is how a string is just an array of characters. It's just a collection of characters. But one of the things that we can do with this is because we're dealing with a data type is we can treat it like an object. And that's actually what we've been doing uh, from the beginning. Every time we've worked with a string, you know, take a look at that dot char at or that dot length. Those are known as class methods that we've been working with. You know, someone already built them. Someone did something uh, in the past that designed out you know, how to work this. So that's pretty nice in my opinion. So let's take a look at some of the other cool things that we can do with it. For example, we've got the split method. And what happens with the split method is it'll take whatever's inside here, its parameter, and it will actually turn the string into an array of strings, a string array. So if you think about it, we've got Java, C Sharp, Python. We got uh, three words all separated by spaces. That's the kind of thing I want to focus in on all of a sudden. Well, what happens if I wanted to turn them into individual strings? You know, I wanted just Java and just C Sharp and just Python. What I can do is I can use the dot notation, dot notation to then say I have this class method I want to work with and I want to separate them, I want to split them based on the space character. Space character. Remember, it is important to remember it's a space character. So what happens is suddenly I get a string array called tokens, and it's no different than me coming in here and saying Java, C sharp. Python. The only difference is, you know, I had to do that. I had to separate it from there. And then I can interact with it as I need to. One of the other things we can do inside of a string is something known as a regular expression, also kind of referred to as regex. Uh, and how this works is we're no longer working with just a string, but we're talking about uh, the pattern of text. So say for example, you know, the word the sentence Java is fun or Java is hard. They both match sort of sort of the same pattern where it's Java is blank. So what we could do is we could actually utilize another class method called matches. And how matches works is it expects some string that has a pattern to it. And again, with regular expressions, Java already understands how regular expressions sort of work. So we say Java star. Now you're looking at that dot. That dot says that, there we go. That dot says, I want any, any character in the world after Java, as long as my string starts with Java. And as you can see, what it'll do is it'll come back with a Boolean, true or false, true or false, if my string, my string matches that. And we can do a lot of other things with that. Say, for example, I'm doing a phone number validator. I want to make sure that my uh, customer types in the right phone number. Well, guess what? We look at something like this, 910-8675309, ooh, 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 ooh. And I need to look at that, and I can say, well, here's sort of the regex uh, pattern that I'm looking for. I'm looking for uh, a digit. In fact, I'm looking for three digits in a row. Then I'm looking for a dash, and I'm looking for then three more digits, and then I'm looking for another dash, and then guess what? I'm looking for four more digits. Mm. We can start to apply this everywhere. We can actually utilize regex when we're dealing with our replace all and replace first methods. As you can see, we can kind of take this little structure here and we're saying, well, I want to go ahead and if I find the dollar sign, the plus sign, or the pound sign, I want to go ahead and just replace it completely with three ends. And so we see if we look at our string, I've got a plus sign, a dollar sign, and a pound sign, hashtag, 
replace each instance with three in the three ins. So as you can see, we have a large subset of these uh, that we can start to build from and work with. And I won't go over all of them, uh, but I encourage you to kind of practice with them because regex uh, syntax knowing regular expressions is actually very powerful. Uh, be you a system administrator or a programmer because everybody kind of has to deal with text.